as you read in your newspapers yesterday, Howard Schnellenberger, formerly coach of the University of Miami Hurricanes, will next year be the coach of the Miami Federals in the Orange Bowl in the United States Football League. Probably the last thing on the minds of Hurricane fans on the night of January 2 when Schnellenberger's team of interchangeable parts beat Nebraska to complete its improbable rise to the top of the college football heap. Howard Schnellenberger and his trademark, the always smoking pipe, with us now live here in the studio and first of all coach i want to congratulate you on having earned the kind of contract that every head football coach dreams about and i spoke to you last fall in the midst of miami's great season university of miami's great season you spoke of a long-term commitment to the university which you thought separated you from the other coaches who had coached there the obvious question now is what's happened in the intervening months to erase that commitment well jim what i said to you back then was certainly true i had no idea that i would not be with the university of miami uh, when mr weiser uh, bought the federals and then decided he was going to bring them to miami that threw a whole new situation to me and uh, certainly this would not have happened if it wouldn't have happened in the city of miami we've coached for the dolphins for the hurricanes and now whatever this team is going to be called in Miami. And I'm delighted and I'm really uh, looking forward to it because it's a real challenge, it's a real opportunity. And as you said, very few coaches uh, get the opportunity to participate in management, to participate in ownership, and to participate in coaching. And that combination of things just made it impossible for me to overlook this situation. It has been widely reported that you were unhappy with the university's approach to the funding of the athletic department. Is that true? Not true, uh, Jim. I was unhappy with the fact that it's just very, very difficult to fund an athletic department at a private institution like the University of Miami is at the level that you need to be funded at. When you have to uh, look to potential uh, television games as part of your operating budget, and if you don't make those television games, you fall short in your operating budget, that makes it very difficult and puts a lot of pressure on the coach to be very, very successful on every, every week and every, every year. Will spring football, 95 degrees, week in and week out, play in Miami? You know, that's going to be an interesting thing. The spring months and the summer months at the university uh, at the, uh, in Miami are really not that different than the fall time. And uh, actually, I think it's going to be cooler early on than it would have been had we started in uh, August or September. There's a real void in Miami for a professional sport uh, in the spring. We have no baseball. We have no uh, hockey or, or baseball, basketball. So this is a real natural and a real positive thing that's going to happen. We're going to afford the fans uh, of the area an opportunity to come out and see what I think is going to be good professional football during this time of the months that they normally are doing other things, boating, fishing, golf, and those kinds of things. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a tough sell, but I think we can make it happen. It may be hard for you to answer this question briefly, but how different are you as a coach now than in the days when you were the head man with the Baltimore Colts? Well, I'm a lot older, and I've been through a lot more things, and uh, now have the credential, so to speak, of a winning coach. Uh, that's very, very important as you tackle an undertaking like this. I don't have to prove myself as a coach now. Uh, I'm recognized as having accomplished. So that gives me a real leg up uh, in this situation, and certainly having part of ownership and part of management is going to make my job a lot simpler and, and give me the tools to make this thing work. Well, you'll have quite a challenge with a team that's won only six of its first 31 games in the USFL. And uh, if you succeed in this one, your stature will rise even farther as a coach. Thank you very, very much for being with us today live in New York. Howard Schnellenberger, now coach and chief administrator of the Miami Federals.